Good morning everyone. Here I Sakshi from the Shining Star Academy. This all are my classmates. Today we are presenting a model on topic technology for agriculture and rural development. So welcome to our Dara village. You are all knowing what is meant by agriculture. But shortly I will explain. Agriculture is the backbone sector of Indian economy. It is practiced in our country for thousands of years. Now in this modern era, the use of new technologies and equipment have adopted traditional method of farming like plowing with animal harvesting and sickle. Farmers are totally reliant on the rainy season to water their crops. In our project we are presenting the advanced technology for agricultural and rural development. So we are having here adult education center to upgrade the knowledge of farmer and to bring improvement in agriculture productivity. It will also help to open the minds of the farmers adopting new technology Satellites and drones are used to collect data regarding vegetation and weather forecasting. Farming involves risks and uncertainties. For this, we can use computer for the betterment in agriculture sector. It has many uses, such that from technical and guidance from experts for cultivation of crops like stagnant or cold house, testing of soil, supply of water in proper quantity, management of water, fertilizer, pesticides. Expert consultation of diseases on crops via video conferencing, graphics of 3D diagrams of crop and land are easy to understand for the rural peoples. And I'll over to my friend. My name is Kunal and I am from grade 9. This is a drip irrigation and this is a gas farming. Drip irrigation is the most efficient water nutrient delivery system for growing plants. It delivers water to the plant in the right amount and the right time. When there is a drip irrigation, it prevents soil erosion. When there is a large volume of water on the surface of the soil, it depletes the nutrient in the soil. When there is a drip irrigation, it reduces the loss of nutrients in the soil. When there is a overhead watering on the plants, the leaves of the plant get wait for long after irrigation. When there is a drip irrigation, the leaves of the plant remain dry. This is the way the water from the well is going to the tank with the help of the pipes. From the tank, the water is going to the direct to the root zone of the plant with the help of drip tube and drippers. This is the wind, wind turbine. Wind turbine is working on a simple principle. The wind turns three propeller light plates around the rotor. It spins the generator and electricity is formed. This electricity is passed to the street light and other purposes. I want to see that. Good morning. I am Siddha from Grenada. Today I am here to explain you about animal detection system. Most of the times, the agricultural fields and the crops are damaged by wild animals. To avoid this, a farmer uses animal detection system or an electric fencing to protect the agricultural fields. The electric fencing requires a flow of minimal current dosage to avoid any pattern shock wave. But there are some factors that disrupt the system's electricity current such as leaves and trees near the fence falling on the fence. This will lead to huge damage of the crops by wild animals. Therefore, the inspection is an essential task that we should be performed by a farmer regularly to ensure that these fences are working properly. Electric fences are used on a huge scale to avoid the damage to the crops by wild animals. If any person tries to cross the fence, then that person will receive an electric shock and a buzzer sound will be there. Due to the buzzer sound, the farmer will be alert. If in case the farmer is not at his home, then the farmer will receive a notification on his mobile phone and the farmer will be alert. In this image, the animal is trying to cross the fence. This animal is receiving an electric shock. This electric shock does not harm the animal, but the animal will receive a panic sensation for short impulse and the animal will be frightened of the buzzer sound. Over to my friend Bharti. Good morning, I am Bharti from grade 9. I am here to explain about sugar industry and palm gas. So, here is our sugar industry. Sugar industry is one of the most agro-based industry. It is highly responsible for creating significant impact on rural economy in a particular and economy in general. Sugar industry land, second most agro-based industry in 
India, it includes production, processing, marketing of sugar, mostly sucrose and fructose. From here, our Dhara sugar farm, the sugar cane which is harvested will be sent to the sugar industry. After the processing of the sugar cane, the lactar recipe will be called as bias. This bias can be used for many purposes such as biofuel for production of heat energy, manufacture of pulp, building materials such as concrete, etc. Here we are having this flow chart. In this, here we are cultivating the sugar cane and after the harvesting of the sugar cane, they are sent for the juice extraction. After the juice is extracted from the sugar cane, that juice is sent for the water evaporation. After the water is evaporated from the juice, the sugar is made and in the centrifugation, the heavier and the lighter particles are separated. Here, after the juice extraction, the left out part that is the waste of the sugar cane that is called as a bagus. This bagus can be used as a fodder for cattle and baking of bricks in the brick pits, etc. Thank you.